Race number five is a leg two of the triple trio. And this is a 1200 metre class three. Sunset Watch is on the class drop at the top of the book. Only a one and three quarter lengths from Amazing Star in a class two. Jumbo Happiness goes up seven pounds for his last start win. Beauty Amigo, the three drawn wide. Wagner Borges and John Moore. He's been racing Lucky Moore and Ping High Bravo at Sha Tin. Young Legend resumes from a spell two. Pretty nice trials to a second to Rhapsody at Sha Tin and led all the way beating Evan Almighty at Happy Valley. Further down, we've got Diamond Brilliant the 10. It meets Ping High Galaxy much better off at the weights than their last clash. And co-partner Spirit showed some improvement on the back of a trial third when he ran seventh behind Shusun last time out. Speed here, we're good to slow. Beauty Amigo to we go forward for a Wagner Borges from the gate number 12. Sunny Lad uh, was up on the pace last time out, but that was over 1,650 metres. Bit of a question mark whether he's got the speed to we go forward here over 1,200 metres, but he knocked up in the straight quickly last time out. Diamond Brilliant, young legend, good for you there. Ping High Galaxy, happy family caught a little bit wide. Uh, Sunset Watch and co-partner Spirit back at the rear. Sunset Watch has been downgraded. Um, he's been running some pretty good races. In the Class 2, he's now back down here into Class 3. He's had one run in Class 3 on that expanded uh, rating band, but he's in um, the Class 3 proper here. Diamond Brilliant, he'll be one of the shorter prize favourites, I think, of the night. He's been going really well, this horse. He's got a good draw. He maps really well. So there's a lot of positives about him. Uh, Jay Marrera from Barrier number 5 in his second behind Massive Pocket was very good last start. And good for you. He's only a little horse good for you, so he does come in at the bottom of the weights, but... So he gets a claim as well. He's going to have a featherweight. He's won two already this season. Just on that rating of 61. I just wonder if the downgrade will be good. But We'll find out. Mm. We'll find out. There hasn't been too many of these that have clashed against each other in recent times. Jumbo Happiness is a last start winner and uh, runs down the outside and, and gets away in the last bit. Yeah, so his, his prior win was off 69. So here he is off a mark of 76 now. I'll be keen to see what he can do. He loomed up at the 200 and really uh, jumped in quickly and raced on by for uh, Neil Kellen. Thought he was going well enough and uh, decided to put him in here. Didn't think it was a real strong race, this one. Yeah, I found a spot for him as well. I just thought it was a really nice win. Now, last season, he did win two in a row. So mm. he's a horse that can hold his form. Beauty Amigo, horse number three. This is a Sha Tin run behind Ping High Bravo. His only look at Happy Valley ran 10th behind Amazing Star Beaten 4. Yeah, he's an interesting runner. He's drawn wide, but he's got some pretty good gate speed. So I can see him speeding across um, Beauty Amigo. That's the key for him. You know where you, you are early. If he does get into a good position, he, he has got a bit of ability. He's only had the six starts. He has. He, he stayed on well here. They went a uh, reasonable tempo in this uh, race, and uh, he just got uh, bobbed out of those sort of minor positions there over the final stages. So what he did there I thought was pretty good. Do we just ignore the Ping High Bravo form from Sunday with the, the wetness of the track? I, the day? I, I think so. I think that was an aberration. <laughs> Oh, nice work. <laughs> Speaking of ping highs, here's Galaxy and Diamond Brilliant doing battle. There's a big swing in the weights for this, though. Yeah, did the ping high Galaxy on this occasion got the perfect run, and he did win at, what, cricket score odds, didn't he? Over he was, 100 to 1. Yeah, he was massive. Uh, Diamond Brilliant, uh, look, he's been more consistent, so I'm going to stick with Diamond Brilliant. I decided to give ping high Galaxy another chance here because he pulled up with a lame right front issue last time out, deemed unacceptable by the, the stewards. He was really good win, winning there with Matthew Poon on board at a, a big price, so... Um, this trial was OK, I thought. Trials now, young legend. The racing club should be salivating to see him back with the, the trials that he's had. Yes, so he's had a couple of trials now, has a young legend. Uh, Zach Purton jumped on board uh, with the jockey change as well. He's had a left front fetlock issue, but he kept on well here. It was a real uh, slushy track on this day as well, but uh, pushed out a little bit there, stayed on OK. So thought he was worth a shout, and he did uh, win a barrier trial at Happy Valley two trials ago. Yeah, I'll get him in the numbers, young legend. I think he can run pretty well. He's got barrier number two. He should get a really nice trail or just in the 1-1, one -one, so he looks good. He's in the numbers. Yep. Well, what else have you got in there? Well, I'm going to put Diamond Brennan on top. I think he's consistent, and a win from him looks really close. Sunset Watch, the downgrader. He really caught the eye a few starts ago when he ran that fourth uh, behind uh, Amazing Star. It was a really good run from him there. So um, I, I think this is his right grade. Young Legend, we just saw that trial. Was a really good trial from him. And Jumbo Happiness in there for fourth. 10, 1, 5 and 2. I think 10 can win it, though. Agreeing with uh, Diamond Brilliant uh, Horse number 10. Benno Jung actually close to a, a milestone, training 200 wins. Uh, what is here in Hong Kong? He's only one away from that at the moment, and he had a double 
uh, on Sunday at Sha Tin. So Diamond Brilli, Nova Ping High Galaxy, Jumbo Happiness. And the other one I don't mind is Sunset Watch. I've got him on notice for Redenership. Started here on 85. He's a two-time winner over 1,200 metres, and he's dropping in grade. Did stay on well uh, three runs ago, course and distance behind Amazing Star, beaten by him last time out, only by one and three quarters. So he's on notice, 10, 7, 2 and 1. It is a diamond brilliant with the big pulling the weights from both Tom and Paul to win race number five. We're going to head to a break. We'll have a look at a 1,000 metre dash, which is race number six after this.